Woolies, um, if you look at the result itself, it was um, in line with expectations um, given it was largely uh, pre-reported in January. Um, however, the new news um, from yesterday's announcement was commentary on current trading um, and the outlook, um, as well as um, the res or retirement um, of the, the CEO. Um, so on um, current trading uh, trading conditions and, and the outlook, um, overall it was weaker um, than expected. Um, sales for the core Australian supermarkets business, um, sales for the first seven weeks of the second half um, was only up uh, about 1.5% uh, uh, due to lower volume growth and, and um, lower inflation. Um, so I was previously forecasting 4% growth in the second half. Um, so that 1.5% growth was definitely below um, what I was expecting. Um, and I suspect that was also below consensus as well. Um, feeding into that um, has really been a drop off in um, discretionary spending. Uh, while sales of food uh, products um, has been going okay, um, sales of non-food products, um, so things um, such as pet care, baby care and um, home essentials, so i.e. Uh, dishwashing tablets, etc., cetera, um, that has been under pressure. Um, and management um, was quick to point out that there's definitely been an increase in, in competition um, and uh, Woolies um, was actually losing market share to non-supermarket operators. So think of your reject shops and your, um, your chemist warehouses. Um, so that was definitely um, a negative. Um, and, and given consumers you know, are still very careful with where they're spending their money, um, I think there is potential for further market share loss um, going forward. Uh, on top of that, um, trading conditions in New Zealand and Big W remain tough. Um, earnings for New Zealand were down 42% for the half. Um, and Big W was down 60%. Uh, and I guess if I take a look back, uh, oh, sorry, if I take a step back um, and take a, and think about the um, outlook for the overall group, um, it does feel like um, there are a few headwinds there. Um, the other news that came out yesterday was the retirement of the CEO, um, Sir Brad Banducci. He's been in the role for the past eight and a half years. Um, he will retire at the end of August. Um, so still around for the next six, uh, six months or so. Um, and he will be replaced uh, by Amanda Bardwell, um, who is the current um, CEO of uh, Woolies X, uh, which is their um, online and digital business. Um, she looks like she's got the right credentials, um, been at Woolies for the past 23 years um, and worked at, um, you know, in various roles uh, across the group. Um, but um, Brad, um, he was uh, very highly regarded by the market. So I suspect that some of the share price reaction yesterday uh, was on the, on the back of um, his retirement as well. Um, in terms of valuation, uh, Woolies, um, uh, it's now trading on about 22 times FY25 PE uh, with a yield of uh, close to 3.5%. You know, it is a very good company. It is a number one play in, um, in the supermarket sector in Australia. Um, and, um, you know, population growth, uh, that will be a long-term tailwind. Uh, but just thinking about it yesterday, 22 times, um, you know, despite the material drop in the share price yesterday, um, to me, I guess it, it just doesn't look quite cheap enough, um, and, you know, given the increased um, uncertainty on the outlook. Um, also, there has been a few downgrades, um, you know, from the company over the past six months. And, um, you know, just thinking about the outlook, uh, I'm just not confident that there won't be some further downgrades um, over the next six months. So, yeah, just a, a bit cautious after that result yesterday and um, hence have downgraded Woolies to a hold. <music>